Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about make your Windows 11 desktop look professional and clean. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as you can see, I have a lot of clutter onto my desktop and not only to my desktop, but I have a lot of clutter onto my taskbar as well. So first of all, we need to clear everything from here. One thing that you can do is you can select multiple files like I'm going to select these files. After that, I'm going to cut all of them and then I'll create a new folder onto my desktop. Here I have a new option and from here I'll create a new folder and let's name this folder as text files. Let's open this folder and after that we can paste everything into this one. This will remove a lot of space from your desktop as you can see. Other than that, you can remove those applications, those folders and files that you do not use anymore. And there is one more way and that is right click onto your desktop, go to your view section and here we have an option that says show desktop icons. If you just click on it, it will hide everything from to your desktop like this one. And now it looks more professional and more clean. So we are done with the desktop and now we are left with the taskbar. As you see, we have a lot of things in here. We have a lot of application pinned and we have search bar in here. We have start button. After that, we have some of the widgets available. So let's remove some of the things from here. First of all, right click onto your taskbar and go to your taskbar settings. It will open a window like this in front of you. If you see at the moment task view is enabled, which is right here and chat is also enabled, which is right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to disable both of these. Now you see, we do not have chat available and we do not have task view available as well. In terms of the search box, which is right here, just click on the option and go for the option as per your liking. I would recommend you to go for the hide option and it will remove the search box or search area from your taskbar. Now you might be wondering that how do we use this search? Well, just press your Windows key and it will work similarly as your search box. So just press Windows key and search for anything and it will open anything for you. Okay, after that, here we have some of the applications that are pinned. So what you can do in order to hide them, you can right click on any one of these and here we have an option that says unpin from taskbar. What it will do, it will remove it from your taskbar and in case if you want it back, you can always get it. Just press your Windows key one more time. And here we have our file explorer or any other folder or you can search for file and here we have file explorer option just right click on it or here we have an option that says pin to taskbar just click on it and you will see file explorer has been added back now just unpin those application that you do not want add your desktop onto your taskbar so i'll just do that i'll unpin my instagram from here i'll unpin my notepad from here and i think i'm good after that, here we have some of the widgets that are available in here. Now, in order to hide these, again we have to open our taskbar settings. From here, under the system tray icons, we have another option that says show system tray icons. Just expand this one and here you have all those icons available. What you can do, you can hide all of these as per your liking. I'll hide my Dropbox, I'll hide my Windows Update status bar as well. And scroll down and you can hide all of those as per your liking. After that, here we have taskbar behavior. If I just open this one, at the moment, the alignment of my taskbar is at the center. You can always go for the left like Windows 10 or if you like the center alignment, you can stay with it. After that, here it says automatically hide the taskbar. It means if you are not hovering over to your taskbar, it will be hidden just like this one. Now, if I hover over it, it is back. So it's all up to you if you want to go for it or not. Other than that, we have some other options in here that we can always explore. For the moment, I'll just close this one and I'm done with clearing my clutter from my desktop. Now let's see what do we have to do next. Now we need to download some of the apps. I'll download some of them from the Microsoft Store and some from the third party websites. So first of all, let's open the Microsoft Store and let's download an app that will help us to customize our taskbar. The name of that application is Rounded TB. So here, let's search for Rounded TB and let's see what do we get. Hit enter. So here it is, let's get it. We are done here with the download and now let's open it. Here it is and this is how it looks like. 
Just click on OK and let's start with it. First of all, here it is asking about the margin and in case if you have no idea that with which ratio you should go, well you can try different things in order to find out that what will be the best ratio for you. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going for 3 as a margin. After that, go to your advanced option and from here go for dynamic mode and make sure to go for show system tray as well. Now just click on apply and now you see we have a small size of our taskbar and it looks more professional now. Now we are done with the rounded TV and basically it was for the taskbar. Let's just close this one. After that we need to download one more application or you can say one more tool. So let's just go to our browser and here I'll search for Winstep Nexus. Let's see what do we get. So make sure to go to the official website of it. So from here we need to download it. Here we have a download option. I'll just click on this button and let's see what do we get. So here the process has started. We have to be patient here. We are done with its download and now let's open it and let's see how we can use it. So first of all we need to install it. So I'll just click on this setup file. Let's click on run. So from here select your preferred language. After that accept the license agreement. Click on next. Again next. And make sure to install it till the end. And let's see what do we get after its installation. Let me minimize everything and let's go back to our desktop. So we are done with it. Now let's finish it and it will launch it itself. So you see this is how it looks like. We have some of the applications built in in here. Now what you need to do, you just need to unpin some of the applications from here. How can you do so? Well right click on any one of these and after that click on remove from dock. From here just click on yes and remove everything as per your liking. Now I'll just remove everything from here and I'll only keep some of the important applications in here. So I'll just get back to you. I'm okay with these three. Now what I can do, I can have the customization and configuration for it. So just right click in between any of the two applications and here you will see an option that says preferences. Just click on it and it will open the settings for you like this. First of all, I'll go to the position and from here you can go to any position as per your liking. At the moment, as you can see, it is at the top. Let's go for the left and after that here we have its parents. I'll just click on it and from here we can change its size. At the moment it is 48 pixel. Let's just decrease it a little bit. I'll just go for 40. After that you just need to click on apply and you will see this will shift on to the left side and the size will decrease as well. Here you see. Now in case if you want to add your own applications into this one you can do so. What you need to do, you just need to open the application or go to the directory where your application is installed. So I'll just search for my Google Chrome. Let's just search for it. Right click on it and go to file location. So here we have our Google Chrome. You can just drag it and you can drop it into your dock that you have just installed. And you can do that for all those applications that you like. So that was all about your dock. Now let me just close this one. And now what we need to do, we need to have the background and a theme for our Windows 11. So first of all, let's just open the themes for our Windows 11. I'll just search for themes. Here we have themes. Let me just maximize it. So here we have some of the built in from the Windows 11. So you can check all of these and you can go as per your liking. I'll just go for this one that says glow for images and it has a bit of a dark sense in it. After that, here you have some of the colors option that you can go for. So here we have accent color. Basically, this is the accent color and you can change these as per your liking. Now let's see how does our desktop look like. Well, at the moment, this is how it looks like. What if we add a lively wallpaper or a 3D wallpaper at the background? Well, we can do so. For that purpose, we have to download one more application and that is called as lively. So I'm going to download lively wallpaper and make sure you use the link or the URL that I'm going to use. And do not worry, I'll put the link in the description of this video as well. So I'll write here rocksdenster.com slash lively because there are many softwares available with this name. So we need the exact one. Here it is. Just scroll down and you will see a download button in here. So here we have installer and get it from Microsoft. I'll just download the installer and let's see what it is. So we are done with the download and now let's open it and let's install it. Well, basically, this is a small application that allows you to have 3D wallpapers or you can say lively wallpapers as your background. And if you go for the paid version, you will get a lot more things than the free one. But the things we need for this video are available in the free version. So make sure to download and install it as well. So let's install it from here. 
Go for the option as per your liking. Select the language. Click on next from here. Accept the license agreement just like earlier. Click on next and make sure to install it till the last point. Let it get complete and then I'll show you that how you can use that. So we are done with the download and installation. Now let's finish it and let's see how to use that. So now I'll just search for lively in my windows 11. So here it is and this is how it looks like. And here you can see we have different wallpapers that are in 3D. So select the one as per your liking. Here we have the periodic table. Here we have a jellyfish. Then here we have a fluids. It will work with your mouse. Wherever you will hover your mouse, it will generate some colors at the background. Let's just start with it. So just click on it and just click on set as wallpaper and it will be on to our desktop. So here you see wherever I'm hovering my mouse, it is generating some colors at the background. So just like that, you can select any wallpaper from the available one and you are good to go. This is one with the metric screen and all the wallpapers are customizable in this application. Just click on this three dot menu option and it will give you some configuration option as it says customize in here. You just need to click on it and it will open the settings for you so you can customize it from here so that was all about the 3d wallpaper and how we can have one and that also brings me to the end of this particular video i hope now that you must have enjoyed watching this one as we have a more cleaner appearance of our desktop now and if that is the case do leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon and if you have anything to ask do leave a comment below I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.